there is a lot going on right now. Everything is closed, everything is shut down, parking lots are empty, movie theaters are closed. There's really not a whole lot to do except for go in your backyard and talk about tents. <laughs> so that is exactly what we are doing today. I wanna to thank the sponsor for today's video, Backcountry. Um, they are one of the few companies right now that are still helping out and sponsoring creators. So if you guys don't know who Backcountry is, let me tell you really quick. Backcountry is a company that really does enjoy getting people out into nature. They love helping just the average dude like me to get out and enjoy the outdoors. And one of the coolest things about Backcountry is that you can go on their website and they have what are called gearheads. The gearheads are online help. Um, when I was picking out these tents, I was using the gearheads to kind of give me some ideas and thoughts and it wasn't like I found one of the gearheads and was like, man, this dude does not know what they're talking about at all. They all know what they're talking about because they're former Olympians, they're former athletes, um, they're former guides, trail guides, and they all have backgrounds that are helpful. So when you are looking for help, get online reach out to the gearhead and they will definitely help you guys out. And all of the gear that I'm gonna show you today, you can purchase at Backcountry. That's where I got all this gear. I've been shopping at Backcountry for years. So the original concept for this video was I was gonna take a backpacking trip with a bunch of guys. We were all gonna spend a night in these tents and we were gonna give our initial impressions and sort of a review and kind of experience of each of these tents. Obviously I can't do that because of what's going on. You can't even get out of your own yard here and they've shut down everything from state parks to any kind of a trail at all and they're telling everybody to stay home. And we don't know when that's gonna change. So instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you a 30,000 foot overview of all of these tents and I'm gonna give you my initial impressions. Okay, so in order to get in this video as a tent, you had to be under four pounds, which every tent here is under four pounds, and you had to be under $200, which I was able to purchase every single tent for under $200 except one tent, and we're gonna get to that tent. All right, so let's start out with the cheapest option. I know you guys wanna see the cheapest option tent. It is the Eureka Suma two-person tent. So this tent is a two-person tent, but it only has one door on it. Keep that in mind. It's really more of a glorified one-person tent. It's nice to have two doors on a two-person tent because if you do have two people in there, then you're not climbing over the other person to get out of the tent or having somebody climb out over you to get out of the tent in the middle of the night or for whatever reason. So that's kind of nice. But the vestibule, nice and big vestibule, big open door. It's got sort of that curved door that opens up to the inner lining. Also, I should mention that every one of these tents is a double wall tent. I don't have any single wall tents for you guys at all today. And none of these are trekking pole tents. <laughs> so this particular tent, nice and roomy. Like I said, it's pretty much a glorified one person tent. Um, I probably wouldn't want to squeeze two people in here unless one of them was like a kid or possibly a dog or something like that. Um, but it is decently roomy. I'm pretty impressed with it. And there's plenty of headroom. Now this isn't the top of the tent. This is actually a gear loft that comes with it. I probably wouldn't take this with me. Um, I keep most of my gear inside my backpack and I leave it in the vestibule. It does have a pocket here on the head. Is this the head end or the foot end? <laughs> this is the foot end of the tent. So the bigger pocket is on the foot end of the tent. There's a pocket right here and then a third pocket right here towards the front. There is a small vent to uh, ventilate on hot days. It's good that it has that ventilation there. That seems to be the only ventilation available in the tent unless you do wanna you know, open up a vestibule or something like that. Sometimes the more expensive tents have a zipper here on the top of the vestibule that you can kind of unzip so like a double zipper, and so I'll show you that in some of the other tents, but that helps with ventilation as well. If you're trying to get into backpacking, if you're new to backpacking, if you just wanna see if you're even gonna like it, this is $150 at the high end. Um, I'm sure there are different times when you can get this thing on sale. I also wanna mention that I do have a coupon code, DAN15 for 15% off. Some exclusions do apply, but you can try to put uh, that code on some of these tents to see if it does anything for you on their website, but uh, that could reduce the price a little bit for you. So I don't know, uh, this could be the perfect tent for somebody just wanting to try it out. So this is the next tent on the list. This is the Sierra Designs Clip Flashlight two-person tent. This one is three pounds, 14 ounces. Now, if you're thinking that's heavy, it's definitely roomy inside and you could fit two people in here. You could just split the weight up between two people. This tent has been around for years. It's sort of an iconic 
tent by this company and it's got a really unique entry system to it. It's got the front door on the end of the tent. Now this is one of those tents I would totally be fine with sleeping with another person in here. I mean it's it's definitely large on the inside and that vestibule I mean you saw that thing it's huge so you could put tons of gear on the outside of this tent as well. Plenty of ventilation in this tent and it does have a nice pocket here, a second pocket here. Every one of these tents are completely seam sealed so you're not gonna have to worry about it. Also has a bathtub floor like the other tents. The only downside to this tent that I found was it does take a little bit to stake out. Um, and it was a little bit finicky setting up, but I mean, it wasn't bad at all. I hardly even had to look at the directions when I did it. So this would be a very roomy two person tent. All right, next on the list is this one right here. This is the Sierra Designs high side tent. And this is probably my favorite tent of the budget tents. I just think this one is so cool. Now this is a tent that looks similar to their other tent because it's got the big end and then the low end over there, but it's nothing the same. As a matter of fact, the door is on the side of the tent, which I think is pretty cool. And it's a one person tent, but this tent packs down extremely small. I mean, so small that the poles and everything can fit inside of any backpack. And it only weighs two pounds seven ounces. All right, so I should probably tell you the downside for this tent is that as of today, I checked and it is not in stock at Backcountry. And because of everything that's going on, it's kind of difficult for some of the shipments to come in, but they do expect this tent to be in sometime in May. This retails for $280, but I got it on sale for 196 bucks. So under that $200 mark, for backcountry. This is a one vestibule tent and it's a big vestibule. So when I first saw this tent, my biggest concern was, you know, as a one person tent, am I gonna have room for like gear outside of the tent? Because in a one person tent, you don't really wanna bring gear inside the tent. And this vestibule definitely handles the gear. For a one person tent, this is sort of like a glorified bivy. This would be the perfect like minimalist one person tent. I mean, this is for the guy that doesn't wanna spend a ton of money. This is a really inexpensive tent for what it is. And it's extremely lightweight and it's extremely small and packable. Okay, so I'm six foot two. Hopefully this will give you an idea of, you know, how you can fit inside of the tent. My feet um, just barely touch the end of the tent. Um, I guess if I had a sleeping bag, uh, it probably would bunch up a little bit there. Um, so this might be a little bit small of a tent if you are any taller than me, but um, I think I could probably make this work. And this mesh doesn't really fall in on you or lay on you in any way at all. I wouldn't be worried about condensation or anything in here. And towards the head end, there's this nice big pocket for some gear. It looks like up here, right above your head, there's even a little loop if you wanted to hang say a lantern or maybe a headlamp. All in all, I'm really impressed with this tent for a one person sort of a bivy style uh, tent. Man, it's super cool. I really like this a lot. All right, this one's next on the list. I've got so many tents, I can't remember all the details. This is a one person tent as well, but this is the Big Agnes Manzanera's HV SL1 Mountain Glow tent. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a mouthful. Uh, but for what you get for a one person tent, this thing only weighs three pounds, seven ounces. Retail price is about $299, but right now at Backcountry, you can get it for $209. I bought this uh, a couple weeks back for like 200 and, I'm sorry, 195 bucks ish. So right around that $200 mark. So like any good one person double wall tent, it's got a nice big vestibule, two zipper, Entry for the single door. This is a single door. Again, it's a one person tent. Plenty of headroom inside this tent. This is their mountain glow. It's just like a really, really thin LED strip inside of this sort of cloth tent material. And then it's just got a little battery pack here. You put three AAA batteries in and you can turn it on. I don't have batteries in there, but you can always hang your headlamp right here. Um, and then it's got a little media storage pocket here if you want to put your phone or whatever up there. And then a nice pocket here as well. And then something I always appreciate on tents is a little bit higher wall at the front end and the foot end. It kind of blocks the wind that could come through those ends. But you can see there's a ton of room in this tent for a one person tent. You can almost fit a second 
person in here if you absolutely had to. And then one thing I appreciate from some of the higher end brands, even though this is more of the budget tent from this particular brand, is that um, they will start to do things like this. Like on this vestibule, they'll include a second zipper here that you can pull down and ventilate the tent if it starts to get really hot and tents do tend to get really hot when the sun is beating on them or in the summertime or that kind of thing so when you think there isn't going to be a lot of ventilation uh in reality there can be oh and i just noticed i think there's a a vent on the back here let's go outside and check yep right here there's another vent take this little bar in here and you just with one hand miraculously there you go prop that up and now you've got uh event last but not least this is the tent i'm the most excited to show you guys this is the marmot super alloy tent this is a tent that's very similar to the tent that i've been using for a year by big agnes called the tiger wall ul two-person tent it's a semi freestanding tent it weighs two pounds 11 ounces uh, the big difference though between this tent and the other tents that i've shown you today is that this one is not really a budget tent it's a 400 dollars tent but it's on sale right now for 299 dollars so um, I was really excited to show you guys this because I'm excited about it. Um, I've, again, not used any of these tents, but uh, from what I can see so far, I can definitely see that this is going to be a really nice tent out in the back country. So if you do have a couple extra bucks, um, I'll show you this tent and maybe this is something you guys want to splurge a little bit extra on and you might want to consider it. This is a brand new tent by Marmot for 2020 and I think they're really trying to break into the really ultralight tent uh market for nylon tents it's a semi-roomy two-person tent but it's really a one-person tent like most two-person tents are but it does have a nice big vestibule here again it's got that double zipper up here so you can vent that up here for you know hot days nice big double zipper door here plenty of headroom tons of headroom i mean tons of headroom so you want to see the inside of the tent i know you you want to see the inside of the tent. All right, I'll show you. Come on in. Come on. Take my shoes off again for the fifth time, probably. Plenty of headroom I'm sitting up. Again, I'm six feet, two inches tall. This is pretty cool. It's got this piece of uh, fabric up here. I know it's kind of hard to see with the sunlight shining on the tent, but this is a, a whiter piece of fabric that you can stick your headlamp in so that way it'll diffuse the light kind of like a, a lantern in your tent a lot of tents are doing that but it's nice that they include that and then um, it's got a little bit of a pocket here for some gear storage and what I really like about this tent over my tiger wall which is tough for me to say is that the end of this tent is literally vertical here so I can put my head as far up to the top here and still have tons of room here. I'm not worried about, you know, my hat or my head or anything bumping the tent. And I can completely sit up in here with no issues whatsoever. Now at the other end of the tent, you can see tons of foot room here. So if I lay down all the way, plenty of head room here, plenty of foot room here, nice and wide. It's a great tent overall for two pounds, 11 ounces. Man, it's, it's tough to beat tents like this what do you guys think of my choices let me know in the comments below sierra designs sierra designs we got the big agnes the eureka and then way back over there that new marmot tent the only tent that's not really a budget tent but is just outside of that budget price range and so if you are looking for a really nice tent that's a great time to pick that one up i would absolutely do it hey you guys stay safe hope you guys enjoyed this video and hang in there through this whole thing we're gonna get through it i know it uh and we'll see you guys on the next one